He was my son, my one and only son. And he went to fight for these people. I didn't know whether he was alive or dead. And I get a letter. And when I saw the letter with that stamp on it, my, my heart jumped for joy. Because I think that my son was alive. And to my shock, to my shock, me ear said them kill me son, them execute me one beloved son. Me was heartbroken, how could that be? How could they let this happen? I want to know what happened to my son. How did he get executed and why? Firing squad, which included seven West Indians and three white soldiers. He had just had his 17th birthday. He was marched out of the cell, into the courtyard, tied securely to a post. Twenty paces off were ten rifles loaded, bolts drawn back. The captain raised his hand, aim was taken. The captain's hand dropped smartly, and the ten rifles rang out as one shot. Herbert Morris was born in 1900, the son of William and Ophelia Morris of Riversdale, St. Catherine, Jamaica. <laughs> <laughs> 